New troubling stat for the Buckeye State. We have the highest hunger rates. Highest. Today, Cincinnati tries to chip away at that problem, literally rolling out one possible solution for it. Nine on your side, Julie O'Neill joins us live right now from the West End, where there's actually something new outside the City Link Center. What's that? Yeah, well, what's new is a red bike station right in front of the center. This center designed to pull resources together under one roof to help those struggling get a fresh start. Well, now they have tapped into red bike to help the hunger problem in our city's poorest neighborhoods. Put some basil off here. Naya Higgins has sown the seeds to success. I love being in the dirt. It keeps me grounded. It allows me to know that even from uh, dirt, something can grow. She came to CityLink homeless and now gives back tending the CityLink Learning Garden after starting her own business. I have my own stall down on Finley Market now, and we sell vegetarian and vegan food. It's been a hard road becoming a mover and a shaker, but now she has help on that road. A dramatically discounted rate on Cincinnati's popular red bike program. Instead of $80 a year, she and other CityLink clients will pay $5 to help them get to work and food. Which will help me tremendously. It will cut me down on time. It will cut down on my calls because I wouldn't have to hop a bus to go a few blocks. You know, I can just hop me on a red bike and get on my way. In. This, as Ohio ranks third in a USDA study for families skipping meals for lack of money or access to food. The biggest problem that I see in low income neighborhoods is that we do not have quality grocery stores. We have a lot of snack stores. You can go get beer, you can go get Cheetos, you can go get sodas, but we have nowhere in the community that's selling fresh fruit. Fresh meats, fresh vegetables. City Link and Red Bike announced the new program made possible by a grant from Interact for Health, hoping this will plant a seed for others. And we hope that new partnerships like this can spring up around the city between Red Bike and other private organizations to support low income communities like the West End. Yeah, so the name of Naya's business is Jamarisol. She's at Finley Market. She invites you to hop on a red bike this Saturday and come and see her. Live in the West End, for now, Julie O'Neill, nine on your side.